Okay. Are we ready to get back to crazy, crazy Proto? Again, Proto, you're my buddy. I think you're awesome. You shoot me out of the fucking water with how many YouTube videos you can make in a day. Like, holy fuck, man. Like, Jesus. I was just, like, scrolling back to get back to this video. Yeah. Holy fuck, he makes a lot of videos. So, if you like a uh, YouTuber who makes a lot of videos, subscribe to Proto. Seriously. Holy fuck. That's just it. I should always start these by saying you should subscribe to Proto Mario. Even though he will have an opinion every now and then that I feel I must make a video to disagree with. I do like quite a lot of what Proto does. But let's get back into what he's saying about... Yeah. Let's make that a little louder. Oh, you hear that background static? I don't even know if my phone will pick that up, but it's buzzing right now. The shotgun, they might have been able to kill, you know, maybe, I don't know, 10 people, because the range of the shotgun is pretty limited. So, as soon as the first shots popped off, people would start running. And those who were lucky on would probably try and fight against these guys, and when they ran out of ammo, they would probably have been decayed. <laughs> okay. I want to believe in the best that all people have to offer, including in crisis situations. I'm thinking there's not going to be too many people left after, you know, you're spraying a bunch of fucking bullets around and shit. There could very easily be a group of people that want to tackle them, but it ain't a given. It ain't a given. That's my point. When you think about it, in this light, you have to understand that they don't have anything to fall the bullets with. In the picture, that's what I'm saying. From what I am seeing, they don't have any anything, man. Ammunition is heavy. It's very difficult to carry around. So, unless you have a nice vest with pockets on it, unless you have something very specific and tailored to carrying around ammunition easily, you can't do it. So while this picture is shot, well, I just gotta say what I said again that I really don't think uh, they would be under fire or anything, so they'd have a little bit of time to reload shit. But again, I don't necessarily think that the aim of the game has to be to kill everybody. But whatever. Game, quote unquote. I'll just say that it is shocking to see how much ammunition they had. It's not exactly a telling sign of their intent. Okay. Proto just said it was shocking how much ammo they had. It's not telling of their intentions. Let's replay that. Sure is shocking, quote unquote. I'll just say that. It is shocking to see how much ammunition they had. It's not exactly a telling sign of their intentions. They just have weapons. Yeah. Okay. Proto is a man from the military, and he was shocked by the amount of ammo they had. All I gotta say there... Illegal or not, they still just had weapons. You could charge them with that. The DA said he wasn't pressing charges. Which means... They did not just have weapons, not just have weapons and ammo at a huge populated event. They threatened to kill people at that event. Whether or not they were joking, maybe after making those jokes, you should not bring weapons and ammunition, the ones that you said you were fucking bringing, to that said event. It's not like they're just going after people for having guns. It's like, oh, you're just at fault for having an illegal gun. It's like, no, no, no. You made a threat, and then they also brought something that could make that threat fucking real. That people are allowed to be fucking uncomfortable to the point of pressing charges when shit like that happens. Uh, they're only being charged with unlawful gun possession. But with the recent shootings in America, a lot of people want to say that these guys were doing this to kill people. Now, I don't know about you, but most people don't go to compete in a Pokemon tournament and then when they lose, go in and shoot the place up. 
mean, I haven't ever heard of anything like that, in fact. These are the Again, let's speak for all Pokemon players, you know, because because there's never been violence with Pokemon in the past. That means that Pokemon is guaranteed safe, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I'm just going to play it. Individuals look like they were pretty chill. And yes, one of them does have a National Rifle Association sticker on the back of his car. They look pretty chill. Drop all charges, man. He looked pretty chill. You know who else looked really chill? Charlie Manson looked like a really chill guy. Hitler, he kind of had a lot of, like, you know, you sure you have that scene where he's, like, in front of the crowd and everything, but you could probably find a few uh, pictures of Hitler looking pretty damn chill. And I'm not 100% on all the facts, but I think that they are going to be charged with a little bit more than uh, possession of uh, unlawful weapons. Uh, I've heard something about them being denied bail, and yeah, fucking right, you know, like, even if this was just a joke, I would say this is the line, uh, joking about killing people with guns and bringing guns, that should be a fair fucking line, I think, I don't know. But that doesn't exactly tell if this individual was, you know, gonna go on a killing spree, he just enjoys guns. I enjoy guns, and I'm not going to go on a killing spree anytime soon. It's just not my thing. It's not that easy to do stuff like this, as in... So he just stated that he's not disturbed, doesn't want to do these things, but I think he's going to tell us how easy it is to cross that line. Like... Yeah. Okay, whatever individual as a human being and have a conscience and this guy went about 27 years without doing anything like this now that's amazing right you would think someone who was going to go massacre people would have tendencies to post all kinds of crazy stuff on his facebook all kinds of crazy let's go back to the facebook and use that as a psychological evaluator plus the lack of a criminal record also means that you couldn't be crazy Ugh. where was the part where you played the other side of this proto i think it comes up at the very teensy teensy end stuff on social media you think maybe he would invo be involved in a cult or stuff like that but we